So hello guys and welcome to my DVD and Blu-ray collection for 2021. So, well, you know the drill, let's just get started. I'm going to just tell the name and I might give my opinions on something if I want to, but otherwise let's get started. So first off we have... 500 bus stops with John Shuttleworth. The Adventures of Booker Bonsai Across the Eighth Dimension. AI, Artificial Intelligence. Airplane. Airplane 2. An American Werewolf in London in the HMV VHS packaging. These are Blu ray and DVD discs in retro VHS style packaging. I don't. I think these are getting quite rare now. Arthur in one of those original snapper cases. The Ashens box set with Ashens and the Quest for the Game Child, Ashens and the Polybius Heist, and documentary Ashens and the Fly on the Wall. Yeah, this was a limited edition set and it took a very long time to get here, but it was worth the wait. A Bad Lieutenant, the Harvey Keitel one. Barton Think, Basketball, Batman, the Motion Picture Anthology, this is the four uh, films from the 80s and 90s, so Batman to Batman and Robin, uh, Batman the Movie, Batman the Complete Television Series, which is the 60s series, and I'll just show you the cover, there's one. The Back to the Future Trilogy, Mr. Bean Volumes 1, 2, 3, and 4. 4 was a bit of a waste of purchase because it's literally bonus features. Um, a Mr. Bean box set with the two Mr. Bean films plus some shitty compilation called Happy Birthday Mr. Bean. Beetlejuice. Being there, big, big hero six, big trouble in little China, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. I'm not overly interested in watching the new one. Uh, Blade Runner: The Final Cut, the Blackadder um, remastered collection, the Ultimate Edition. Really nice box set right there. Uh, the Blues Brothers. The complete series of Bottom. Skyfall. Spectre. The Born Collection, so that's the Born Identity. Born Supremacy. Born Ultimatum. Born Legacy. And Jason Born. Bond 50, this is um, Doctor No to Quantum of Solace. Um, I really want to get the Blu-ray set because this has none of the bonus features and uh, Casino Royale is cut, which is really fucking annoying if you ask me because, and this wasn't cheap even back in the day. This was nearly £60 and it's, you know, it's daylight robbery. Uh, the Breakfast Club in the VHS stop packaging again. Britannia Hospital. Uh, the Burbs. Caddyshack. Chalk Series 1. Chalk Series 2, which is um, a burnt disc because you can't get a Series 2 officially for some reason. Um, really underrated comedy series. I would highly recommend it. Give it a watch if you haven't already. Uh, Chasing Amy. The Chucky 7 film collection, this is uh, the original child's play to A uh, Cult of Chucky, I've not seen the new one yet. Oh. A Clerks, Clerks the animated series, this is an American copy. Close Encounters of the Third Kind, uh, The Corpse Bride, 
like the Coen Brothers collection with um, The Big Lebowski, Oberware Rock Bow, Intolerable Cruelty, uh, No Country for Old Men, Burn After Reading, A Serious Man, True Grit and Hail Caesar. Uh, the Critters Collection, Crocodile Dundee in the again in the H and VHS packaging. Uh, the Crow, Curdle, The Dark Crystal, Deadpool, Deadpool Two. The Dirty Harry Collection, Django Unchained, Dog Day Afternoon, Dogma, Donnie Darko, The Die Hard Collection, um, I need to get Die Hard Free on Blu-ray because the version in here is cut. Doctor Strange Love or How I Went to Stop Boring and Love the Bomb, Dumb and Dumber, Easy Rider, El Mariachi Desperado and Once Upon a Time in Mexico, so the uh, Robert Rodriguez Mexico trilogy, Escape from New York, E.T., The Exorcist, Euro Pigeon with John Shuttleworth. Angel Has Fallen, Falling Down, uh, the complete series of Father Ted, the complete series of Faulty Towers, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Filthy Rich and Cat Flap, The Fish Called Wonder, Five Easy Pieces, Flight of the Navigator, Fog, Four Rooms, the Friday the 13th Fate Movie Collection, which is the original to uh, Jason's X Manhattan, The Frighteners, From Dusk Till Dawn, The Fugitive, Futurama, The Complete Seasons 1 to 8. Yes, I prefer this to The Simpsons. Future Armour, The Collected Epics, which is the four films that make up season five. Get Carter. Ghostbusters 1 and 2. The complete series of Gimme, Gimme, Gimme. The Goonies. Graduate, um, one of those shitty mail away DVDs within, which came with an equally shitty newspaper, which I don't read, so don't judge me. Gremlins and Gremlins 2, Grindhouse, which is a Planet Terror and Death Proof, Groundhog Day, Guesthouse Paradiso. Halloween, the only Halloween film I've seen. Uh, the Harry Hill movie, again, don't know why I have this. Uh, the Hateful Eight. Heat. Home Alone, 1 to 4. The animated um, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the original that is. The original and the probably the, and probably the only good one. If. Um, In the Line of Fire, Independence Day and Independence Day Resurgence, The Complete Indiana Jones Set, The Italian Inglorious Bastards from the 70s, The Far Superior Quentin Tarantino Inglorious Bastards, Inner Space, Inside Out, Stephen King's It, the original, 
It's nice and north with John Shuttleworth. Jaws. Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Joking Apart Series 1. And Joking Apart Series 2. Again, another underrated comedy series. Interesting enough, it was actually a fan of the series bought these out on DVD. Um, Jumanji and a HOV exclusive steelbook. The Jurassic Park trilogy. Uh, the Karate Kid collection, all four films. Killing Zoe or Killing Zoe. Apologise about the lighting. Kingsman The Secret Service. The Stanley Kubrick Visionary Filmmaker Collection with a Lolita, 2001 A Space Odyssey, Clockwork Orange, Barry Lyndon, uh, The Shining, Full Metal Jacket and Eyes Wide Shut. The version of The Shining in here is the international version with the 25 or so minutes chopped out. A Labyrinth. Last Action Hero. Uh, League of Gentlemen, the complete collection. League of Gentlemen, Box of Delights with uh, League of Gentlemen Live at Jury Lane, the League of Gentlemen Are Behind You, and uh, the film League of Gentlemen's Apocalypse. Uh, the League of Gentlemen Alive Again. Uh, the Bruce Lee Master Collection, which is uh, The Big Boss, Fist of Fury, uh, The Way of a Dragon, Game of Death, and Enter the Dragon. Uh, the Lego Movie. Uh, the Lethal Weapon Collection. The complete series of the Lone Gunman, which was a sprint, which was a short-lived spin off the X Files. Uh, the Lost Boys. The Mad Max trilogy. Mad Max Fury Road. Uh, More Rats. Mars Attacks. Uh, the Men in Black Trilogy, the complete series of uh, Millennium, which was a sister show to the X-Files, or it was done by the same creator, rather. Which is really fucking hard to get back in. John Shuttleworth, The Minotaur and Other Mythical Creatures. Misery, Monty Python the movies, um, I still need to get Flying Circus, an Eddie Murphy box set with 48 Hours, uh, Trading Places, Beverly Hills Cop, The Golden Child, Coming to America and one more film which shall not be mentioned. Mystics in Bali. Um, the Naked Gun Trilogy. Natural Born Killers. The Never Ending Story. The complete series of The New Statesman. Uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, the Nightmare on Elm Street Collection. The complete series of On the Buses, still need to get the films. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Outland, the complete Alan Partridge collection, which is No Me, No and You, and both series of I'm Alan Partridge, Paul. Pet Cemetery, the original. 
the Pink Panther collection, which is the Pink Panther Shot in the Dark. Uh, the Pink Panther Strikes Again, Revenge of the Pink Panther, and Trail of the Pink Panther. All the um, Peter Sellers ones. Planes, Trains and Automobiles. Point Break. The Police Academy Complete Collection. Um, all seven films. Poltergeist. Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me. Austin Powers in Gold Member. The Predator Trilogy. The Princess Bride. Uh, uh, uh. Ready Player One. Red Dwarf, just the shows, so that's series one through eight in the bare bones set with no extras. Uh, Red Dwarf, just the smegs, which is the outtakes. Roadhouse, just Roadhouse, on its own, no other shit films go with it. Rogue, the Robocop Trilogy, Rogue One, Rollerball. Romancing the Stone and Jewel of the Nile, The Room, Rosemary's Baby, Scarface and the VHS packaging, the American version of The Shining with the extended cut, which is now available on 4K, A Sicario. Sin City, uh, the Some of His Jam collection, which did originally come in a box, but the box got tatty. Uh, so we have Series 1, Series 2, Series 3, and the Christmas specials. South Park, Seasons 1 through 5, 6 through 10, 11 to 15. 16 to 20, season 21, season 22, season 23, then the film South Park Bigger, Longer and Uncut, some of the softies with John Shuttleworth, Baseballs, a Sylvester Stone collection with Cobra, Assassins, Tango and Cash, The Specialist and Demolition Man, Stand By Me, the original Star Wars trilogy thankfully with the unaltered cuts, The Star Wars Trilogy bonus material from the 2004 box set. The Force Awakens. Uh, the Superman collection, which is the four Christopher Reeve films plus Superman Returns. If I can fucking get this one out. Uh, the Stone Tape and Ghost Watch. These ones right here are ones which normally go on the top of that lot, but as you can see, I couldn't properly get to them to film, so I've put them up here. But we have the Quentin Tarantino, uh, Quentin Tarantino collection with Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction, Jackie Brown, Kill Bill Volume 1 and Kill Bill Volume 2. The Terminator, Terminator 2. Uh, the Thing, Italian Inferno, Train Spotting, Tron, True Lies, True Romance, The Usual Suspects, Twin Peaks, the television collection, and Twin Peaks Firewalk with me. And on the final stretch, we have 
the Ultimate Vacation Collection. Wally. Wallace and Gromit Curse the Wear Rabbit. I will be getting the shorts eventually. Uh, the Warriors. Watership Down with a really shit cover. The Blu ray cover's much better. Wayne's World. Wayne's World 2. Westworld, the original film. Blue Frame Roger Rabbit. Ralph Bakshi's The Wizards. Wreck It Ralph. The X Files collection, which is the first, well, the only 11 seasons. Uh, the two films, X Files Fight the Future and the X-Files I Want to Believe and then finally the complete series of The Young Ones so yeah that is it that is everything until next time goodbye